Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, if you are new here. And if you are not new here, thank you for returning. It is so good to sit down and film this colorful look today. I very rarely do something colorful. I am a neutral Nancy. I love neutral looks, but today, I really, really wanted to sit down and challenge myself to do something super colorful and super bright and summery. So this is the finished product. I really think it's beautiful. I think it's super bright, super bold, super summery. It is like 100 degrees outside, the sun is shining, and I thought, what better summery, beautiful day to sit down and film something bright. So I hope that this video inspires you to maybe step out of your comfort zone and do something that you wouldn't normally do, whether it's with makeup or in any facet of life, get out there and do something adventurous and challenge yourself. So today's look is featuring the NYX Off Tropic Palette. I am so inspired by the color story in this palette. I think it is amazing. The colors are super pigmented, um, super creamy. I did not um, get a lot of fallout or um, kickback with this palette, which is surprising because um, it is so, so pigmented. Um, but yeah, it performed really, really well. It is super affordable. You can find this palette on Ulta.com and I'm pretty sure um, it's still available on Nick's website as well. So yeah, before we jump into the video, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, join our family. I would love to have you guys hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time. Is alerted a word? I'm gonna have to like look that up, I don't know. Um, so you can be notified, I know that's a word. So you can be notified every time I upload a video, which is usually every Tuesday, and then I do one bonus video a week. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I would love to hear from you guys. And without further ado, let's hop right in. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the eyes, obviously, because I have nothing else on my face. And I have you guys super zoomed in for this portion, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can see like all the stuff I'll be doing. So first I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows out of place. And sorry, it's been a while since I've like done my eyebrows, so they're not looking the hottest right now. That's my doggy. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is take some tape and just like stick it on the back of our hand first so it's not so sticky. And then we're gonna like so because I do want a pretty crisp line. go in with some concealer and just prime my eyes with that. This is the Revlon Candid Concealer in 028. I haven't used this concealer in forever. So, the star of the show, we're bringing out Off Tropic. So excited. And I'm just going to go in with a 
What do I want to use? I'll just go in with a flat shader brush. I'm going to use this. I don't think these actually have names. Um, so I'm just going in with like this bone color and I'm using that to set my eyelid. It's kind of like the exact same shape. Maybe this would be better. But like a fluffy brush, would this get done quicker? Yeah, let's just go in with a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. And you can see that just kind of blends right in to that concealer there. And there is a deeper skin tone, so if you're more, um, you know, deeper in skin tone, you could maybe set your eyelids with that. So now that they are set, what I'm going to do is go in first with this, that shade I was just pointing out right there. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, I want to say it definitely has like a goldenish undertone. I want to say it's almost like a goldenrod color. Um, we'll see what it looks like once we put the, um, put it on our eyelids. You guys like being zoomed into all my hyperpigmentation? Oh, guys, it's a struggle. I feel like once I get my skin where it needs to be, then, you know, that time of the month comes, I break out again, and then I'm stuck with all the hyperpigmentation again. It's an endless, endless battle. So I'm just taking that shade and on the same brush, I am blending that into my crease and right under the very um, bottom of my brow bone there. I will usually always take my crease colors very high up because I want them to show through my um, lid color. So I usually always take my crease colors pretty pretty high up and then I'm allowing those to kind of when I get towards the outer portion I'm allowing my brush to like flick out at the very end so just like a gentle little flick when I get to the very end of the eye there this is actually a beautiful beautiful shade so if you just wanted to do like a really simple look you could throw this sh um, shade into your crease and then maybe just do a little pop of this um, beautiful gold color um, in the center of your lid and be done for the day. So you can also get um, a beautiful neutral look out of this palette as well. to the other. Guys, this shade turned out so beautiful. Like, the inner me wants to just stop right here and put a tiny pop of that gold, but I, I promised myself that I would do a bold look, so a bold look we are going to do. So, if anyone knows me well, they know that I am not a orange, eyeshadow person but we are stepping completely out of our comfort zone and we are going to take this orange and pop it onto the lid um so i think i'm just going to use my finger because that's how i'm feeling it's going to probably apply best i'm thinking so we're just going to take that and apply that straight onto the lid. 
That is really, really pretty, actually. Now, I didn't take it all the way up into the crease because I want that first shade to kind of be the, the color that still pops out in the crease. And then I didn't put it all the way into the corner because I do have plans for that inner corner there. And yeah, that is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I'm gonna go back in with that original crease color and just make sure that we have that built up on D right there. Okay, gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but I put some concealer down and then I made a wing with the, oops, got tape on me, with the hot pink shadow that's in here. So I'll show you guys what I did. Um, I took a very small, like, focus. It will focus, like a very small definer brush. Then I just picked up some concealer. And with the tape still down, I just kind of like went in the shape that you would for a wing. And you can make this wing as big as you want. I just took it halfway across my lash. Um, I usually do that with most of my wings. I like my wings to go halfway across my lash line. With the concealer still wet, you're going to take a slightly thicker definer brush, pick up that pink, tap off the excess, and just start laying that down on that concealer. Make sure you get all of the concealer covered. Now we're going to take the tape away and then you're just going to clean up, take a makeup wipe and clean up that line. So now, for first I'm going to take a tiny bit of the same concealer and just run a quick layer of that under my eyes, just so I have something under there. Then I'm going to take another small, kind of a little bit fluffier of a brush, but still kind of a small definer brush. And I am going to pick up this purple color right there and run that under the lash line. Gonna kind of stamp it more than like sweep it because I don't want to get a shite ton of fallout. So 
same thing on the other side is on a little bit fluffier of a brush. We're going to take that original kind of butterscotch looking color, put that on the tip of that brush and then run it underneath it and just connect it to the outside. And that's just to give it a little bit of depth and also to blend it. So it's not just a harsh like streak of purple under your eyes. We are going to take this green and put that in the corner, but also on that part of the lid that we didn't put anything. I don't know if this is gonna be the right brush for it. So I have a very small definer brush right here and I'm putting that on the corner of my lid, right in that corner and then I'm taking it up with this very small brush and just blending that into the crease. Just something to break up that orange a tiny bit and then we'll brighten up the inner corner with a highlight. I, this green is much more olive tone than I thought. do is go back with that original brush with absolutely nothing on it and just make sure that that crease gets blended with that green in there so we're gonna go in with my favorite inner corner highlights flexitarian by ColourPop we'll just put a little bit of this on our pinky and pop it right on the inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit All right guys, so I'm going to hop off, do the face makeup, and then we will come back and finish everything off with a lip. And you guys can see the completed look. Cause I know I'd be looking a little crazy right now, but we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're back. I zoomed you out a little bit and everything is done except the lips. I did put a half lash on. I wish I knew what lashes these are, but I don't. I'm sorry, they were already cut up, so I just grabbed them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna do the lips. Everything that I used on my face will be listed down below. Um, so for the lips, we're all, we are going, blah, blah, blah. We are going to keep it pretty nude so that the eyes really can pop. I'm going to go in with NYX liner in natural, which of course needs to be sharpened because it wouldn't be one of my videos if my lip liner did not need to be sharpened. I don't know why, why am I cursed like this? Okay, so now let's jump in and line. It's so weird because when I'm lining my top lip, like I can feel where the lip filler is, but it's like you can't see it anymore. But it's like I can still feel it. It's the weirdest thing. It's like I know you're still in there, I just can't see you. What I'm going to go in with first is the Artist Couture in Saucy Gal. And I don't really like swipe my lipsticks on heavy. I tend to just like put them on very lightly and then blot. find that most flattering instead of just like 
going in super heavy and then it looking really cakey. Okay. And that looks super like beautiful as is. These, these lipsticks are amazing. Saucy Gal is probably my favorite. I do love Power Play as well, which is a little bit more pinky toned, but not too pinky because I'm not a super pinky um, nude person, but it's also really, really beautiful. Um, but Saucy Gal is probably my favorite. But just to make it a little extra pouty, I am going to take e.l.f. Um, satin lipstick in cream or creme, however they prefer to pronounce it. And I'm just going to dot that right in the middle. And then pout again. And that's just to give your lips some extra little pout and plumpness in the middle. And you can do that with any lighter shade. Like you don't need to have that exact lipstick. Like putting any little lighter shade in the middle of your lips and then um, pouting them together will make your lips look a little bit plumper. So this is it guys. This is the finished look. I hope that you like it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know how you like these videos of just like focusing in on one thing, whether it be the eyes or the skin. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And until the next one, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, whenever this video goes up. And if you're living somewhere where it's super, super hot like it is here, stay cool. I love you. And bye.